Next question is show that 9 raised to n plus 1 minus 8 and minus 9 is divisible by 64 whenever n is a positive integer. So we have to show that the expression 9 raised to n plus 1 minus 8 and minus 9 is divisible by 64. So we have to for proving this the first step is very important if we are, we are not able to identify or remember the first step you will not be able to reach the answer. So what I am going to do is I am going to take the first term of the expression 9 raised to n plus 1 minus 8 and minus 9. So 9 raised to n plus 1 I am taking. Okay. I am going to apply binomial theorem. To apply binomial theorem I, I need two terms. So I am going to split 9 into two terms as a sum of two terms with the condition one term must be a multiple or a factor of 64. One term we will take it as a factor of 64. So how can I split? I can write 8, 9 as 1 plus 8. Instead of 9, I wrote as 1 plus 8. So that 9 is a factor of 64. Whole raised to n plus 1. So now it is of the form a plus b the whole raised to n plus 1. Where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 8. And then here it is n plus 1. Okay. So if I apply binomial theorem. 9 raised to n plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 8 raised to n plus 1 will be equal to a raised to n. a raised to n is 1 raised to n plus 1. Here n is n plus 1 plus n c1. n c1 is n plus 1 c1. a raised to n minus 1. We have to subtract this power by 1, isn't it? So it is n plus 1 minus 1 into we have to add b. So 8 plus nc2, nc2 here it will be n plus 1c2 into, we have to again decrease a power. So 1 raised to n plus 1 minus 1 itself is en. So if I am decreasing, I am getting n minus 1 into 8 square plus n plus 1c3 into, again I need to decrease the power. n minus 1 minus 1 gives you n minus 2 into and increase the power of 8, 8 cube plus n plus 1 c4 into again decreasing the power of 1 it is n minus 3 into increase the power of 8 it is 8 raised to 4 plus etc. We cannot write as etc. because it is n plus 1. So we can write the last term as 8 raised to can you say a plus b raised to n as the last term is b raised to n. So here it is 8 raised to n here is n plus 1. So this will be the last term. So that is equal to left side there is a 9 raised to n. N, sorry, 9 raised to n plus 1 is equal to 1 raised to any power will give you the value 1 plus n plus 1 c1. We have the formula n c1 is equal to n. So n plus 1 c1 will be equal to n plus 1 into 1 raised to whatever be the power will give you the value 1. So into a term is there 8. So second term is n plus 1 into 8 plus in the next term, I am go not going to simplify n plus 1 c2. 1 raised to n minus 1 as 1 itself. So into 8 square plus. In the next term also, I am not simplifying n plus 1 c3 into 1 raised to any power as 1. So 1 raised to n minus 2 is 1. So 8 cube plus. Next term, n plus 1 c4 into 1 raised to will give you 1. So 8 raised to 4 plus etc. Last term is 8 raised to n plus 1. So here what I am going to do next is 9 raised to n plus 1 is equal to 1 plus n plus 1 into 8 gives you 8 n plus 8 plus here. Here it is n plus 1 c2 into 8 square. Just look at the constants. 8 square is there. Here 8 cube is there. Here 8 raised to 4 is there. Here 8 raised to n plus 1 is there. So what is common there? 8 square. So I am taking 8 square outside from the balance term. From this term onwards. I am taking 8 square outside. So that balance will be n plus 1 c2 from this term. Plus the next term is n plus 1 c3 into 8. 8 cube is there. So 8 square came out and balance 1 8 is there. Plus n plus 1 c4. Here 8 raised to 4 is there. 8 square came out. So the balance 8 square plus etc. This term from this term 8 square came out. So if I need to calculate what should I do? 8 raised to n plus 1. Here from 3 I got 1. How I got 3 minus 2 give you 1. Isn't it same way? Just subtract 2 from n plus 1. So n plus 1 minus 2 gives you 8 raised to n minus 1. If you are not able to identify the term just put etc. It's not a problem. Okay. 
that is equal to here there are two constants 1 and 8 it gives you 9 so we can write the term as 8 10 plus 9 plus bracketed term is multiplied by 8 square so if I have a term 7 into xy I can say that it is divisible by 7 isn't it whatever the value of x and y is we can say that this expression is divisible by 7 or I can write this will be a multiple of 7 divisible by 7 and multiple of 7 both are same so 7xy is a multiple of 7 same way 8 square into this much expression is divisible by 8 square 8 square is 64 8 square into the bracketed term is divisible by 64. Instead of us divisible by 64, I can write the bracketed term. That means from here till the last term, it will be a multiple of 64. Okay, so 9 raised to n plus 1 is equal to 8, 10 plus 9 plus m64. m64 means it is a multiple of 64. 8 square into some term is there. Since 8 square is there, we can say that the full expression is divisible by 64 instead of us divisible by 64 we can say that multiple of 64 so if i am taking 8 10 and 9 to the left side what i get 9 raised to n plus 1 minus 8 10 minus 9 is equal to multiple of 64 if i want to write in words what i can say is 9 raised to n plus 1 minus 8 10 minus 9 is divisible by 64 this was what we have to prove. Look at the expression 9 raised to n plus 1 minus 8 and minus 9. The question is also the same. 9 raised to n plus 1 minus 8 and minus 9 is divisible by 64. So this is how we are proving. So uh, we don't forget the first step. Instead of we are just taking the first expression. First term from the expression 9 raised to n plus 1. And instead of 9 I am writing as 1 plus 8 raised to n plus 1. Then apply binomial theorem. Okay. And from this term onwards, we are taking 8 square common. Why we took 8 square is because in the question it is given, we have to prove that it is divisible by 64. 8 square is 64. That is the reason why we are taking from this term onwards, 8 square as common. So, 8 square into whatever be the term will be divisible by 64. Otherwise, it will be a multiple of 64. That is how we are getting that. This expression is divisible by 64.